YNR star Brighton James just teased an unfinished romantic storyline that he would love to revisit. As for Eric Braden, he gave us a little insider look on what gets him going at the age of 83. And Kate Linder has a message for everyone. So watch till the end to find out all about it. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. A big wedding is on the way at the Winters family. But it's not just the Winters event, it's the Grand Winters Chancellor Newman wedding. Three families coming into one. Recently, Devin Hamilton just gave us all the ultimate surprise by popping the big question to Abby Newman, and wow, did it take us by surprise. While we all kinda saw it coming, it was actually the way he did it that caught us by surprise. Like usually you'd expect this big fancy, straight out of the movie proposal, right? But nope, Devin's was just heartwarming. No flashy ring needed, just pure, genuine emotion. And honestly, that's what made it so special. And let's not forget the amazing backstory here. Devin and Abby's relationship goes way beyond just romance. These two have been through all sorts of ups and downs together, even when they weren't a couple. I mean, sure the start of their relationship wasn't exactly ideal, but if we just remove that part, you'll see that they were in love with each other, all along. And honestly, this whole best friends turned lovers trope is one of our all-time favorites. It's such a classic, feel-good storyline, and it's even better when it looks like it's leading to a happy ending. And with Devin and Abby, we're feeling pretty confident that they're headed for a fairy tale finish. Now, as they prepare for the big wedding or should we say, wedding of the century, Brighton James, the actor behind Devon, is all in for the celebration. While soaps are often filled with scandal and drama, James is more focused on the genuine, lasting love between Devon and Abby. But even though things are looking rosy for these two, James has a few thoughts about Devon's past relationships that might surprise you. Turns out, he has a regret or two when it comes to Devon's romantic journey. While James said he wants to see Devon and Abby being together for the long run, he just can't stop thinking about what it could have been with Roxanne, played by Tatiana Ali. In an interview with Soaps in Depth, he said that the writers could have fleshed out the relationship with Roxanne when Tatiana Ali was on the show. James is quite disappointed about not exploring Devon's past romance with Roxanne on a deeper level. Now this storyline dates back over a decade ago and, according to James, it left a lot of untapped potential. Devon and Roxanne's romance started off really well, but things quickly hit some serious bumps. Remember when Devon had an affair with Tyra, who he mistakenly thought was his aunt? That was some seriously awkward drama. Fortunately, they weren't actually related, but the aftermath it left was not good at all. It took Devon and Roxanne a long time to reconcile, and their love story eventually took a turn for the worse. When Devon accused Roxanne of being a gold digger after inheriting a massive chunk of Catherine's estate, things really went south. James reflected on this, saying, I always thought there was a lot left on the table with that one. And honestly, he's totally right about that. But before Abby, Devon had a great love as well. And it was with Hillary. So James also didn't miss this opportunity to praise Miss Hale Morgan, who played Devon's once big love, Hillary. He said, I enjoyed playing that committed role to somebody, and being head over heels about an individual, and doing whatever it takes for them. While some actors might thrive on the scandalous side of soap life, James is perfectly satisfied to keep things blissful and romantic with Abby. Then there's Tucker, Devin's father, who literally has this big commitment issue, jumping from one bed to another. But in the world of soaps, surprises and twists are always lurking around the corner. And James summed it up perfectly, saying, it's a soap, so there's always the potential of everything happening. Meanwhile, another young and the restless star, Eric Braden, is quite the busy man these days. When people cross a certain age, like 70 or 80, they feel like their life has stopped, but not for Braden. Because he's been as active as ever, at the age of 83 who, by the way, just recovered from bladder cancer. The strength this man has, is just mind-blowing. We all thought Brayden, who has been playing as Victor Newman on YNR since the 1980s, would probably be resting more after overcoming cancer, but it only made him more active. I mean, people would normally retire at 70, but not Brayden. And he's definitely not retiring in the coming five years either. It seems like his stamina just multiplies as he gets older. And for those who might have doubted his ability to stay active and engaged well into his 80s, Brayden is setting the record straight. He even shared the proof on his social media. Recently, Brayden took to Twitter to share a jaw-dropping video of his workout routine. 
The clip, though just 40 seconds long, gives us a peek into his impressive strength. In the video, Brayden is seen in the gym, drenched in sweat, delivering a series of powerful jabs, punches, and uppercuts to a unique punching bag known as an aqua bag. Unlike traditional bags filled with sand or foam, this one is filled with water, making each strike feel like hitting a real human opponent. So you definitely don't want to be on the other side. If you've been following Brayden, then you know besides dancing, he is obsessed with boxing. Not only does he do boxing in real life, but his alter ego, Victor does it too. Just like how Brayden boxes with his son Christopher, Victor does it with his son, Nick as well. He also said that this is one of the workouts that keeps him going. And his fans couldn't get enough of the video, with many marveling at his physical power. One fan even commented how this was a great way to be fit physically and mentally. Some fans were also quick to reminisce about his earlier boxing workouts, with one follower writing, I remember seeing photos of you doing some boxing workouts about 30 years ago, and it feels like these stills are from that era. Looking great, Eric! It's clear that Brayden's commitment to staying in top shape is paying off, and it's great news for fans, who love seeing him in action as Victor Newman. Now we know why Victor Newman keeps ruling in Genoa City. He is kicking butt, both on screen and off. But that's not all, you know it's been a while since we've seen Esther Valentine on Young and the Restless. Last time we saw her, she was running the Crimson Lights, and then crossing over to Bold and the Beautiful to attend a fashion show. But for the past two months or so, she was nowhere to be seen, so Kate Linder, the actress behind Esther, decided to pop by with her weekly words of inspiration. If you've been following Linder, then you know she has this thing she does every Sunday. She calls it a Sunday message, and this past Sunday was the same. As it was Labor Day, she wanted to celebrate it, and she also quoted Thomas Edison saying, there was no substitute for hard work. As much as hard work is important, she wanted to remind everyone how they should take it easy on the weekends, and especially, taking care of themselves. And don't forget about each other. Lastly, she wished everyone a happy Labor Day, and like always, she'll see you all next Sunday with a new message. And can you believe, it's already been 232 weeks since she's been doing this? The fans just appreciate her words and her, as a person. Oh, and it's not just us who miss seeing her on Y&R, Linder, herself does too. She even reposted an old fun video of all the cast doing a dance challenge, where she showed her little tap dance as well. Check it out! Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments down below as well. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.